welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have a meal prep for you guys and we're gonna do breakfast burritos, all vegan. I'm really excited about it. And this is actually gonna be like my lunch today. I'm hungry and so I have enough to make myself an extra one for right now. So last week was my very first time doing a meal prep like this. I've done plenty. I do have a playlist of meal prep and food prep video ideas for you guys. Um, um, I can link that below. But last week was my first time doing one very kickback like this, and it was a lot of fun, and a lot of you seem to really, really enjoy it, so here I am again. So if you guys wanna see videos like this again, going forward week to week, please do give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that's what you wanna see. Let's get into this. So if you guys watched my haul from yesterday uh, from Whole Foods, I actually mentioned to you guys that I finally found a kombucha that I really like. So I'm gonna pour myself some and I can have that as we do this thing. <laughs> this Health Aid kombucha is really, really good, guys. And I mean, I've already drank most of it today, but I'm gonna have some more and I love it. It's this really pretty like pink color too. And this is the pomegranate one. I have another flavor in there I have not tried. Almost gone, almost. Um, in there, the maca berry one. Has anyone tried that one? That one, I'm curious if I'll like, but supposedly it doesn't have a ton of maca flavor, but more berry. So, but yeah, I'm loving these. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's still like, right at first, that first initial taste is a little bit like, oh, <laughs> wake you up but it's not it's not nearly as like apple cider vinegar tasting as many of them are I like it mm-hmm mm. Okay, to get this going, um, I would suggest doing your potatoes first. I actually bought these little fingerling uh, potatoes at Whole Foods actually and uh, get these going because potatoes typically do take the longest but the coolest part about like food prep or meal prep in general is you know when you're making dinner or lunch or whatever a meal uh, you always have to kind of like I feel like the hardest part is timing everything making sure everything's done at the same time so that it's all hot at the same time you know whatever it is you're making well uh, when it comes to food prep or meal prep it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't matter if everything's done at different times because it's gonna be set aside for the days to come. It doesn't have to be all perfect at that very moment. I like that, it's very less stressful. <laughs> but I have these already tiny potatoes and I'm actually gonna cut them up even smaller and that way they'll even cook up like quicker. Plus, since these are gonna go into a burritos, I don't want like huge chunks. I mean, I guess you could. I've had both, um, both ways before and they're both good. So either way, but for the sake of them cooking faster, I'm going to do them pretty small and you can use, um, whatever potato you like, whatever kind, it don't matter. I like them all. These ones are cool because they have little purple ones in it too. So after I get these going, I'll start the tofu too, because we're going to do a tofu scramble. which I already have that recipe like completely done, I've done specifically, and I can like link that below for you uh, more in depth if you want to see that or follow that a little bit easier. So that's a little bit more than half of that package and I think this is gonna be enough. So I'm actually gonna save these to the side. Mm -hmm. mm. I hope in the background it's not too obnoxious of like the sounds of it cooking. I apologize if it is, it's trial and error. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna put them into this pan here. Uh, no oil or anything. And I like to start them at like a medium heat and then sometimes even put like a lid over it, doesn't even have to be perfect, uh, to the pan. And let them soften up a little bit, they'll kind of steam a little bit and that'll just help them cook a little bit even faster. And then after that, once they've cooked a little bit, I'll take the lid off and crank the heat up and that'll get like that browning on it that tastes really good. So I'm just gonna let those go for a little bit. So I just opened and drained this tofu. This is the 365 brand. And it's extra firm organic tofu and we're going to use this for our scramble 
just uh, break out tofu. <laughs> so for the sake of just showing you a bit better, I'm gonna bring my pan over here for a minute. And by the way, I get some questions sometimes on this pan. This is the Tea Fall. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it below for you guys. It's the Tea Fall. Um, skillet pan. It's a big one. I love it. And a lot of you ask, like, you never really use oil and it doesn't stick whenever I show, like, uh, meals we're making. And uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's awesome. I love this thing. And I've had it for years. And it's really, really nice. Like, there's no scratches on it or anything. I love it. Um, so with that, I'm not adding any oil or anything to this. Um, but I'm just, you can see, I'm just literally, like, crumbling this up. And it's going to mimic, if you've never had this before, scrambled eggs. And it's really good. It really, really is. Actually, this is probably my number one recommendation. If you or you know someone else that is not really a tofu person, but you want to be, you want to like it, um, do this. Do this meal. This is probably my number one recommendation. It really is. I just think it's really close. Uh, the flavor to like the real thing and texture wise too. If it is your first time having it, I would recommend adding a soy chorizo, like the soy rizo from uh, Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. And it will really flavor it up. Now, is it the healthiest thing? Not really. But again, if you're just trying to like it and or you just want to have it anyway, <laughs> then I really do recommend it. It's good stuff. Now, for me, I do like to have this cooked pretty uh, well done, just because that's how I like tofu to be. But you don't even have to really cook it all that long either. And then we're going to add some seasonings to this too, but I'm going to let this cook up first for a little bit, and then we'll add our seasonings to it. And what I have for that is chopped onion, seasoned salt, everything but the bagel seasoning, and turmeric. And turmeric is what's going to give it that egg color. And it really comes together and your mind is blown, if you've never done this before, of how much it really resembles eggs. It's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna also add some spinach into this too, because it'll totally wilt down. It's a great way to get greens in. And we'll have our scramble ready. And then we're gonna add some cheese to this too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since I don't really have a whole lot else to prep to make this until those things are cooked up, I'm actually just going to uh, prepare some of these carrots for myself for the week. Why not? And we can chit chat. I'm just gonna peel these and chop these up. Good to go. So guys, I took the plunge. I did it. I did it and I love it. <laughs> Okay, so last week, I don't remember exactly what day, but I made a poll on Instagram, and follow me there if you're not already. I'm really using that a lot more often now. Anyway, I posted a poll on there asking, do are you guys familiar with Poshmark? And um, then after that, I put a poll and said, if you are, would you be interested in me having a closet of my own? And if that if you know what Poshmark is, you know what I'm talking about. But with that, you guys voted, and really it was divided. It was 50-50. 50% of you knew about it, 50% of you did not know. And that was like, okay, well that's good enough still for me to like talk about it, because it really was 50-50. So it's kind of crazy because I actually have heard of Poshmark for a long time. I've heard of it. I just never personally really used it. I had the app though, I did, but I never really played with it because I was like, I don't really get it, <laughs> but I've had it. And then about a month ago, uh, that vegan mom, I don't know if you follow her or not, but her name's Natasha, but her channel name is That Vegan Mom. She just had twins not too long ago. She's a vegan, obviously. Um, she has a little son who's adorable and she does a lot of what I eat in the days and for her kid too. So if you need some like meal ideas there as well. She's awesome. I like her. Very relatable. But anyway, about a month ago, she did a, a video all about it. And I was watching it and I was like, okay, if I'm going to listen to what this whole thing's about, then I'm going to listen to her. <laughs> and so it got me like thinking and she explained it all and I was like, okay, I get it. So over the weekend, I took the plunge and I actually made myself a closet. So... <laughs> so I want to tell you guys about it and I want you guys to follow me on there if one you already have it 
or two, you don't and now you want it, <laughs> I will have it all linked below. I actually have a link below that you can download the app from directly. So full disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video by any standpoint at all, but I have partnered with Poshmark now to be a brand ambassador and so my link below does give me a small commission if you do download from it. This app is completely free on your end and um, I just want to put that out there though because I'm always honest with you guys. But yeah, I have that linked below if you guys want to download the app too. It is for iPhone and Android and it's completely free. I also have on there if you use my like coupon refer a friend code when you sign up. Um, you'll see right when you download the app, it'll ask you like, do you have like a refer a friend code or a promo code or anything? You, if you use mine, it'll give you five dollars too in your account to like go towards purchases and stuff. So just I'll have all of that linked below. So Poshmark, basically, it is a online, all online. Uh, basically, if I can explain it this way, like an online yard sale of your fashion items. So clothes, uh, makeup, purses, accessories, that kind of stuff. I was kind of shocked that they do makeup. That was kind of cool. Um, and a lot of it is like high end stuff too, but obviously not those kinds of prices, like the full retail amount. And uh, everything is like either lightly used or still brand new with tags. All right, so the tofu is like already kind of browned up. So I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings and I'm also going to add some non-dairy milk to it just like you would scrambled eggs. Alright, so I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit, a little bit of that. I'm going to put some of these dehydrated onions. salt everything but the bagel because it's delicious and turmeric very important for the color Can you guys see that and basically this is done when that liquid that I poured in there evaporates and it'll look like tofu scramble I'm also gonna put in the uh, spinach Put a lid on that just to let it wilt down. I'm sorry, I know it's kind of all over the place, but that's kind of the point of this too. It's supposed to be really just kicked back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what it is where you can create your own closet on there to sell your items and or shop other people's closets. And you can find some really, really good deals, which is awesome. And so I did that this weekend, so I have a closet now. I think the reason I was so standoffish from it though for so long was I was just like not sure how it really works. So how it works so that there's no problems with, you know, payment and all that is Poshmark is basically controlling all of that, which is perfect. <laughs> As a seller, you do not pay anything to do this at all. You don't pay for shipping. Poshmark pays for shipping, which is awesome. The only thing you have to do is they create the uh, shipping label and you just have to print it. And so, I mean, technically you have to get a printer, which I did not have. I had to do that at my parents' house this weekend because I already sold two things. I was not expecting that <laughs> already. I put this up Saturday, Saturday night, and I had two sales Saturday night. No kidding, guys. And... You can actually see that on my store that it's like two of the items are shown as sold right now. Um, at least so far. It might be more when by the time this is up. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, but basically the buyer pays for shipping. One flat rate. So let's just put this in perspective. If you wanted to buy something from my closet, you would pay, pay a flat rate um, shipping cost. But it's only like for my closet. So point is, it's not per item. Let's say you bought three items from my closet or anyone's closet. You still only pay a flat shipping rate, which is good. And it's not very much like six bucks. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in these potatoes. Again, gonna help it cook up, but also um, not stick to the bottom. You don't need to do oil. Anyway, so then 
from there, how it works is if you bought something from me, I would get notified that you did that and I would get an email from Poshmark with my shipping label for you and I would print that out, package it up, and send it to you. It's really cool. And so I actually just got home a little bit ago from shipping out those two orders and it was that simple. I'm like, okay. Now the only thing is, for me, it works out pretty good because I already have so many packing materials for my personal online store. And so that is kind of easy for me, right? I already have all that stuff. Um, but that is something you would have to supply because you are in control of um, shipping it, you know, your item because it's in your home, right? It makes sense. But that stuff is at the dollar store, guys. It really is. So that's not a hard one to come by and get but yeah so that's all you have to do so my other thing was okay but how much money do does like Poshmark take from you for the sales is it really worth it blah 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 these were just things that I was curious about before where I just didn't fully understand it but now that I get it sorry my camera shut off but Poshmark takes 20% and you get 80% of the sale it's not bad I mean when you really think about it you're out nothing and you probably just made money from something that was sitting in your closet for months or years that you really had nothing you were gonna do with it. You know what I mean? Um, I actually posted a few like shirts from Victoria's Secret, a couple shirts I think from BB, um, some of my higher end stuff I guess you'd call it. And yeah, my BB shirt I sold for $14. I sold some MAC uh, Cosmetics uh, glitters. I sold those for 15. That's what I did this weekend. It's really cool. So, I mean, if you have a bunch of items lying around that you don't know what to do with and you're not gonna wear, or you're not gonna use, uh, jewelry too, of course, just try it out, guys. Like, it's really cool. Or if you're someone who likes to shop <laughs> uh, for clothes online and at a good rate, then do that it's really cool but yeah I mean I just wanted to tell you guys about it because like I said I took the plunge this weekend and I got it going myself and I love it because it's so like just fun to see like who wants what and to package it I love packaging things <laughs> I've mentioned that to you guys before um, with like my online store too of like I love putting the packages together for you guys I think it's fun <laughs> so it's just another way for me to do that plus maybe Make some extra money it's kind of cool and I mean we're not talking big bucks here but I did post a coach bag on there which again is I posted for a lot cheaper than what I paid or what it might be worth if you bought it at the store retail but it's still a good chunk of money for me you know and if I'm not gonna use it why let it sit there you know Anyway, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Again, the app link is in the description box if you want to download it too and check it out and sell some of your stuff too if you're looking to get rid of it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so everything is cooked up and I'm just gonna put it into here so we can kind of make like an assembly line of our ingredients to make the burritos. Here is our scramble. It's so good. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. I know it's kind of hard to explain every little detail I'm talking about with this uh, Poshmark thing, so please leave any questions in uh, the comments and I'll totally do my best to get you guys the answer. But I think it also just entails like getting on the app and just browsing it and figuring it out. And when you post like your own items, you just take pictures. It's all right there. There's a sell button right on there and you click that, you take pictures and, and you just fill out the description of what it is you're selling. It's pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. I just remember being like scared of it. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. So what I did here was just pull like five sheets of foil that way I can wrap each burrito up individually and I only did five even though I have six because I'm gonna eat one now <laughs> and I actually have these uh, Mi Rancho organic flour tortillas they feel really really soft um, I also got these yesterday at Whole Foods and I'm going to start filling my burritos good stuff and obviously you can make as many of these as you need, but I do find it easiest just to start doing it on your foil already because you can use that to like help you roll it up. You know what I mean? And then I have this bag of the So Delicious Cheddar Jack Flavor Shreds. I don't know if I've had this. It smells good. 
and it's vegan cheese. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Gonna put a little bit of the potato, and I you could put obviously salsa in this and stuff too. I'm one of those people that like to kind of keep that kind of stuff out of it first um, because or for the sake of prepping, just because sometimes I do find like more liquidy ingredients can definitely make it a little bit soggy um, for the sake of prepping. But again, when you go to eat these, uh, you can definitely add salsa, uh, guacamole, I mean, whatever you want to it. You know what I mean? Yes, it's good stuff. Put some of this cheese. Okay, I'm not like the master Chipotle burrito maker, but I'm gonna try here. And like I said, these tortillas are pretty um, soft, so I feel like that will help. I could probably even fill this a little bit more, actually. But that's okay, I'll eat this one now. Let's give it a whirl while it's hot. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Oh yeah. Guys, you gotta make these. Uh-huh. I'm hungry. Nate is a huge breakfast person, so he's gonna absolutely love having these. I told him this was my plan to uh make these and he's like, okay. <laughs> he was all about it. You know what, I might have been able to do even more um, potatoes after all, but that's okay. We'll just put more of this in there. Yeah, these um, tortillas are definitely easier to work with because they're really soft. And then like that, boom, and then you can take your foil like that. Like a little hot dog. It works. You can actually put these in like a storage container all together um, once you're done and you can put them in your freezer. You can keep them in your fridge. If you're gonna do them in your fridge I would say no more than like a couple days worth probably and then the rest just put in your freezer and then pull them out maybe like the night before you know you're gonna want to have it just so it you know cooks probably a little bit better and you could just pop these into even your air fryer if you have one of those in the mornings. Mm -mm -mm. I know that's what Nate's gonna do. I know it. <laughs> and this is such an easy thing to prep, you know? So simple. This is basic too. I mean, you can definitely get fancier with this um, as you get more comfortable with making this if you're like totally new to like the scramble thing. Super simple. All right. Wood stuff. That's what I mean by having the foil ready though. It's just kind of convenient to have it right there ready to go and just roll it up before it falls apart. It's good. All right guys, simple as that for having breakfast prepared for the week. Mm. Or lunch. Or dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video again and again I will try to do these weekly for you guys with different ideas brought to you each week. Thank you so so much for watching. Again, check out Poshmark if you haven't already and if you do have it, make sure you follow my closet and I'll try to add stuff as I go of things that I don't need and I'll try to get it to one of you guys. Anyway guys, have a great great day. Thank you so so much for watching as always and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!